I got another story for you. This is about some beef pies who live in my neighborhood. So I guess that makes me their neighbor. And at my neighborhood grocery store, this was a couple months back, I saw one of them, his nickname I gave him is Bulldozer. Because he, he just like this, you know. And I saw him at the grocery store, and he was carrying this sack of potatoes down the aisle like this coming towards the checkout counter. And he was just knocking over little old ladies and stacks of cereal boxes and stuff just his way on down. Because, well, he's a pretty big boy. And that's who he is, and that's what he does, and that's how he got his nickname. Well, he was behind me in the checkout line. And I thought, well, gosh, uh, that's the only thing he bought was a sack of potatoes, you know. And if I had bought a sack of potatoes, I would have bought like a five-gallon tub of sour cream and about eight pounds of butter to go with it. But, you know, I'm starting to think maybe if I want to end up a beef pie like him, that, you know, maybe just potatoes is something that I should buy. And I looked into my little shopping basket, and I kind of went, you know, okay, frozen burritos, check. Um, Chocolate-covered raisins, check, got that. Um, what else did I have in there? Um, I love pizza rolls. Pizza rolls, got those and stuff like that. Half and half, I just love on cereal especially, you know, and stuff like that. So I kind of noticed there was a, a little bit of a discrepancy there in the kind of things that I buy and eat and the kind of things that Bulldozer buys. Well, the other day, I was back at the grocery store, and I saw Bulldozer and his friend, his boyfriend, I call Fuzzbutt. And, well, I won't get into the tangled details of that, but that it's just pretty much self-explanatory why Fuzzbutt's nickname is Fuzzbutt. And those two, they came in and I thought, I thought, oh, just watch. They'll probably just make a beeline like for the produce section just buy a bunch of stuff that's like all fresh and healthy and like good for you and stuff. And then they'll just make a beeline for the checkout. And that's exactly what happened. Um, you know, so they were like going through the produce section. And, and I just thought, when I saw them, I just thought, oh, those two. You know, just like that. Those two. And Bulldozer, he picked up an avocado and he said to Fuzzbutt, well, how about some of these? And Fuzzbutt was like, put that thing down, for God's sake. Those things are so oily and greasy. He said, put the avocado down. He said, there's a reason why those things look like hand grenades. They're just as deadly. You want to get all fat and bloated and pudgy, like like rusty over there? And he kind of pointed at me. And I was, I was like, hmm, hmm. You know, uh, he said, put the avocado down. Well, the bulldozer, you know, went further down the produce style, produce aisle, and said, well, well, how about one of these? And he had was holding a coconut. And Fuzzbutt just went off on him. He was like, what? Are you nuts? He said, do you know what's in a coconut? He said, you know, if you took a coconut shell and then you took some lard, and then you took like some sugar and mixed the lard with the sugar and added some coconut flavoring to it and lined the inside of a coconut with it, you would have a coconut. He said, those things are so greasy and fatty. He said, those things will kill you. Are you trying to give yourself a heart attack? You're going to you leave me with you dead and fat? Put the coconut down. And he told me. He told Bulldozer, he said, he said, you go over to the salad section. He said, we're going to buy a bag of leafy greens. And we're going to have some brown rice. And he said, get a lemon for lemon juice for salad dressing because that is going to be our supper tonight. And then they did. They made a beeline for the checkout and that. So I don't know. I was thinking, you know, of doing an intervention on him, you know. Because I was worried that they might not have enough body fat, you know, to like function properly. You know how those muscle guys are. Um, you know, I thought, I was going to say, guys, let's, you need help. Let me get you, we're going to stop at the potato chip section first. And then I'm going to get you over to the freezer section. Does you like stat. And we're going to get you like hot pockets. 
They are like, they're sort of like nutrition bars. Um, all, everything you need in a meal, they're right there. Um, I thought I could get them some banquet TV dinners. Um, not a lot of people know this, but banquet dinners actually have like a full day's supply of sodium in a single serving. And um, you have one of those, that's all you need. They cost less than a buck. They're one hell of a deal. Um, and so, I don't know. As I continue to aspire to my own beef pieishness, I'm like thinking, okay, well, maybe, I hate to use the D word, uh, but I may need to make some dietary changes um, like bulldozer and fuzz butt apparently have. That's it for today's eye on beef pie.